So I brought my tripod so that I could do a little time lapse. I got my charger, my um, cords, my water bottle. I decided on the Kirkle because I wanted flavored water today. I think tomorrow I'll probably do a hydro jug because I'll want more water. And then hooray, I remembered hot glue. Hooray for hot glue. We're gonna be here a while. And here we are now with two hours in. So when I was at Hobby Lobby, these letters right here, those are the ones that are on sale for $6. And then the E and the B were full price because this style that was on sale didn't have a B, which is crazy because usually it's the vowels that are missing. But no, it was the B. So I had to get this kind that was $14. And now as I'm doing this, I'm realizing, you know, that one is one dimensional. It looks fantastic. And this is two dimensional and it still looks great. It just takes a lot longer because there's edges to do. Okay, so obviously if my classroom was ready, this would be the last thing I'd be doing, but I think it was a good use of my time. I had some fun. Definitely burnt my fingers to an absolute crisp, but that's okay. So here's the finished product many hours later. B, U. Like these letters, oh, so easy, but I also kind of like how like that word is like its own separate font. This word is its own little fawn. So basically, I just need to pack up here and head home, stop at McDonald's and get a coke, because, you know. But I'll show you the progress in my new room. So a lot of the same things, like still need to paint, still need to paint, yada, yada, yada. But we can come over here. Tile guy has been busy. Floor looks great. Look at that. Love Mr. Tile guy. I'm assuming he has to do like all of it because right there is the shower so it makes sense that it's also that same tile. Eh? Makes sense? So Meet the Teacher is next Tuesday, not Wednesday like I thought in the last video. So we will see if it's finished by then. And the appliances are here. I can't be bothered to turn on the light but these white boxes is I think the stove and that one says sink on it. So it's just a matter of installation now these days. But I assume they can't install the bathroom fixtures until the tile in there is done. They can't install the sink for the cooking area until the actual flooring is done, which I think is like a vinyl laminate, among other things. So just a nice waiting game. I have a training tomorrow at um, another building. We're learning about uh, unique learning systems. So last year I used news to you and unique learning systems is like the overall encompassing curriculum, I guess you could say. It's basically the alternative curriculum and it has like reading, social studies, math components to it that you can use with students that are on the alternative assessment track. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is not my room, obviously. It's my fifth grade teacher Bestie's room and she has an air conditioner, the only one in the school. So I'll be in here for the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna do bulletin boards. I peeked in the room, it's looking great. I'll show you guys at the end of the day because the tile guy's in there right now, but apparently like he should be done by today. And then they'll do the floors tomorrow. They'll let it like wax and sit or whatever. And then they'll do the appliances. So maybe we will be in by Meet the Teacher. I guess we'll see. So this is one of the bulletin boards I've inherited obviously from the old music room. Um, it's a little bit beat up. I tried to paint it some black but I don't think it's gonna dry the same color. And then I found my border, surprising. I don't think I'll be able to staple it in without it looking horrible. I could tape it, but the chances of it falling off, very high. So do I repaint the entire thing with this kind of paint, obviously a bigger brush, or do I just leave it?
I'm pretty sure the only good thing about not having a room that's ready to go is that this is the easiest bulletin board I've ever done. And it's a huge one. Now for the border, which over there. So this pink is from Hobby Lobby. It's like the cheaper version of the Better Than Paper, so it comes in the rolls, and I kind of like this pink color. We don't have that in my school. This is the schoolgirl style, which I think I got off of Amazon. Now I need to go search through my laminate piles and find the letters for this bulletin board, because I think I've already made them. It's two o'clock. I've made a huge mess. I've accomplished very little in bulletin board land, but um, I've got a big stack. So this is all the stuff that's going on this bulletin board. Like some of this is um, leveled readers and adaptive books, but this is the recipe for the unit. There's a science experiment for the unit. And then one of my teacher friends came and is doing a different bulletin board across the way and her stuff is just here, but yes, cute. Okay, I have my letters all cut out. Went wandering through my stuff in the hallway. Found one of these pocket charts that I was buying for something else, but I think it'll go good for the word wall. And I'm gonna put the, the recipe, the topic, and the science in these, and then I'll put the leveled books in these. I'll just stuff I had down there. Okay, so here's my thoughts. It's looking nice. So I've got this little pocket chart. I think the polka dots kind of match really nicely with this. Unfortunately, we kind of ran out of room, so that'll just be a little bit overlapping. I like how the titles are a little bit smaller because, I mean, obviously that's not like the main focus. And then for all of these, I'm going to do little holders like this. And of course, I can only find one that's black. The rest are all colored, and that means I'm going to go on Amazon and just get some more. So I think I need eight of them, so hopefully it comes on a 10-pack. So science, recipe the main topic the easy reader and then there's a a b c and then there's the adaptive book with like velcro so four of them here so yeah one bulletin board done i'm kind of hesitant to staple it but i feel like if i don't staple it now stuff is just gonna fall off or get shifted if someone tries to move this and is unaware that it's not so i'm doing it i'm stapling can you hear that that's the tile guy he's like my new bff I guess if he finishes tonight and it's 4.30 and he's still here, so I think he's probably wanting to finish. Yay, tile guy. Then they can put the floors in tomorrow. <sighs> so now I'm going to go work on the bulletin board in the hallway outside of my room. I'm not going to film that because I don't need tile guy or painting guy in my video. Again, our theme is kindness rocks. <laughs> Cheyenne is over here bothering me because she thinks we're going O-U-T and that is not happening. But I realized that I didn't end the video. What is in my hair? I realized that I didn't end the video. So then I figured, well, I might as well put my Amazon packages to y'all because one of them is semi-teaching related. Oh, it smells bad. So my bulletin board paper is absolutely everywhere and I'm tired of it. So I bought this gift wrap storage solution and in my new room, I'm thinking it'll fit between the wall and where the washer dryer is. It'll just be a really convenient place to store all my bulletin board paper and my wrapping paper because I do use wrapping paper on some bulletin boards or around um, the holidays or birthdays if I do want to wrap something. So yay, Amazon. And then I also got these, which you might think is excessive, but as a special education teacher, there's a lot of spit and uh, snot and just kid germs floating around. And there's been so many times where I've had to throw away a good iced coffee because I know there's kid germs on it that has like come from a sneeze that just like, and you can just see the fun coming out of that nose. So, I saw these on Amazon. So of course I needed to get them. They're a whole package of straw covers. So you just put it on the straw and then it covers the hole. 
so no nasty kid germs on your straw. No more ruined iced coffee, Shia. Don't bite that, ma'am. Hey, that's not for you. I'll take you to the dentist one of these days. Stop that. So, anyways, one more, which isn't really class related, but I might end up bringing it to school. Pretty big box, so. So it's a little plastic drawer that you put under your Nespresso to store all your little pods in. So I'm hoping that I will have space at school to store my Nespresso there and I can make iced coffees to my heart's desire. So hopefully. But thanks guys for watching this video. I'm putting these two days together, the bedazzling and the bulletin boards, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. So tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, we have PD for most of the day. And then in the afternoon, we have time to work in our classroom. And I still want to do that hallway bulletin board, but Tile Guy was in the way. All his stuff was in the way of that bulletin board. And I had the stuff printed out for it. I just need to do it, pull it up the border and staple it in. But then I have plenty of other bulletin boards I could be doing too. It's just the everyday struggle of where did the rest of the border go? Where did that color of bulletin board paper go? Hmm, I know I have more of these sleep protectors, but where did they go? Or some of my bulletin boards are actually just stored in other rooms or stored in the shed. Like, I'm not joking, my stuff is like absolutely all over the school. But maybe, maybe we're almost done with that. So thanks guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.